Sub nerds, it's massage den. I know it's been like a hundred years since I made anything other than a short, but it's been a while since I've been this annoyed about character designs. So I haven't been compelled to make anything like this for a minute. So I watched the first two episodes of Netflix's Tomb Raider, Legend of Laura Croft. Let's get into it. Let's just get right into it. The character designs are straight booty but musa somebody worked really hard on this shut up no they didn't no they didn't there's no way someone worked hard on this this is just some shit they slapped together with an existing ip paired it with some wannabe castlevania animation and farted it right out i get it using an existing ip to get views and subs is the name of the game i haven't played a tomb raider game since she had triangle tits on ps1 I'm hardly a Tomb Raider aficionado. In fact, the thoughts of a rich British woman going around stealing shit from dead people is a whole other kettle of fish that I can't even get into right now. No, this is specifically about the character designs on the new Netflix Laura Croft. They suck. I've got nothing nice to say about anything I've seen so far. Wait, that's a lie. To keep from being too much of a bitter bitch, I found that I like the scenery and backgrounds of this show. That person did their job. The person who animated the water, drew the buildings, and did the lighting and shadows did their jobs. Person who designed the characters, I'm sure they were given a list of diversity requirements, went with the first drafts they crapped out, and kept it moving. Case in point, this character, Zip. This guy is black, gay, and apparently the tech slash hacker of the group. Hackers be like, I'm in, am I right? Anyway, Just going off those buzzwords, he shows up like this. The purple vest number is his standard look, and he shows up to a party looking like a confused prince cosplayer. His design pisses me off so much. He's like a caricature of what a straight guy thinks gay guys are like. Dude is out here wearing two vests and ripped jeans. Throw the whole man away. Take a fashion design course. Just one, I beg of you. So I know a lot of tech guys normally dress like hobos but this from jump this guy is gay coded though that means he's more stylish than the others do not get me started on akuma beads and cargo shorts guy over here i'll cover him in another video if i have the time he wore long sleeves to the jungle get out of here first things first with the this magical negro over here his hairstyle makes him look like he's going bald and he's trying to hide it they gave him this way too elaborate fade with dreads and raggedy lineup. This shit is bad. So let's put a full head of dreads on him. I've been watching D'Angelo Wallace lately and his dreads are the metric for how dreads should look. Anything else just looks like a rat's nest. And if you call me racist in the comments, you can just go take a flying leap after. Save your freaking breath on your call out of me bashing a black queer character. I'm black and according to everyone around me, I'm quite queer. So just... Go take a nap instead of leaving that comment. Go on, lay down right over there, baby Jane. Every man on the show has facial hair. Every single one. So I'm not giving him the goatee. Don't care if original Zip has it. Pretend he bought a Norelco. No facial hair for this character. Next, this vest combo is... I don't know what it is. It's dumb looking is what it is. They're both purple, damn near clash, and the length of it is just, well, how many times can I say it sucks? He looks like a 50-year-old used car salesman desperately clinging to his youth. Original Zip was not gay, but since Netflix needs to check a diversity box, their Zip is gay. And the second design is what it would look like if they weren't cowards about his flamboyance. Isn't this based on a video game? Due to polygon restrictions, I get it that they couldn't go crazy with the outfits in the game, but for the animated show, I gotta say the outfits are all so subdued, so basic, so very cartoon from the 90s, which normally I love because that's what I grew up on, but when you glance on over at the Castlevania designs, they pop. Tomb Raider designs are basically those leftover kernels in the bag that hurt your teeth. Not sure if I'm ser- if I'll am seriously watch this show because every episode f- so far has me screaming, screaming out how and why when a character does something. Honestly, I'm not really enjoying it. They tried to make this character more interesting by making him mouthy and gay and he comes off as annoying and ignorant because of the fact that he's a computer genius or something, whatever. He's, I see what they're trying to do. 
And it is 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 not working. That's my two cents. I like to know yours, even if you're going to pop off about how I'm just some old bitch complaining on the internet. Have fun being left on red. Given those same buzzwords, this is what I came up with in an hour. And if you like my character design, you can follow me on DeviantArt, TikTok, Blue Sky, Kara, YouTube, and Tumblr. Because I'm massaged in here, there, and everywhere. Thanks for watching.